Um, you called him for some money, he wasn't able to give it to you. Man, dig this here, man. We just sit up there and I done did this shit on my channel. Oh, you did? <laughs> this man. I, I pay attention to people and I listen very closely uh, to what people say. First of all, I'm gonna put this out here. Charles and White help me. Okay. Put me, I'm, I'm gonna put that out there. The man helped me to appreciate everything Charleston did for me from paying my car note the one time. My dick! Because how you gonna put that on me when y'all ain't even done a little what I done done? To sending me the $150 to treat myself. That's right. How you gonna dictate what I'm gonna do with my heart when you don't even have in your heart to do it? And then sending me another hundred dollars, which in fourth I gave him five hundred dollars. And when I went to Dallas and did my two interviews, he took five hundred dollars out one of my interviews. Bitch, give me back the money, then, ho! Fuck ass, bitch! Oh, uh, and it was just out of the goodness. I never asked for anything in return. Ain't behind it, but guess what? I don't care. All I know. He lost a friend in me. People used to warn me when he was coming at people from Chicago. And these is my people who helped me since my son been gone. Now I'm looking like a big suit and trading on the motherfucker for some money. I nothing to do with the guys. Nigga, when the guys get was getting the money. Paid. I'm trying to get some money. Money. Man, you a Charles, so you acting like Charles and White, G. You when it wasn't like that, because loyalty is everything to me. Loyalty is everything to me, but you just have to just take it with a grain of salt with Charleston White. For whatever his reasons is, like a lot of shit he said. When I was messing with him, the reason I wasn't calling him because I didn't need to call you. You on the need to call bases. You don't just drown out all your help at one time. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So because you paid the car note and I appreciate you. I sent you your money back. Like I'm calling and asking, do you need your car note paid? Right. Oh, uh, I had been in contact with, with FBG Doug. So I had been in contact with all these mothers. And when I was explaining it the first time, it was like, I didn't even know what I was talking about. But then I re-looked at it and I said, well, damn, this cash out came from me. Bitch, give me back the money then, ho. Fuck ass bitch! In my mind, I would want people to do this for my mother, homie. So it showed that I sent him $500 Mark's night. You see what I'm saying? I can show you in my phone. We ain't gonna do that. But if you if you know how Cash App is, Cash App do not allow you. Keep it. It, 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 it keeps everything. Now look, I got receipts too. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now you see this right. Now this is our history. You see right here say our history. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. Now right. if you look at the dates. Uh, I stopped talking to rainwater like back in September. You go from up to the, the, the earliest one. Mm -hmm. June 14th. Mm -hmm. What did it say? Mm -hmm. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. Then he sent me this. Mm -hmm. Love you, sister. Fruit ain't light, 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 light. hundred. But see, this is all the motive. That's why I feel like it was a motive he was rearing me in. You see what I'm saying? So, the 438 was the car note payment. What this say? Now, what this say? December mm -hmm. 14, 20. What that say? March 9th. Who is from? So you sent it back. It, it'll say plus if he sent it to right, me. Right, right, right. You sent it back. I sent right. him that back. Right. And this was for the hotel. Right. About, right, right. So you right. basically, and I appreciate you giving mm -hmm. me $150. But, motherfucker you, but you did send back a neck on some. Don't you know try to do me like that, Charleston. Don't do me like that because, for one, I appreciated everything you did for me. You want to make it seem like uh, I'm the bad person because of what some people in Dallas did to you. Mm -hmm. That ain't had nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. My own people warned me. He going to turn on you too, Sheen. I say, no, he ain't. He got no reason to turn on me. Now, how I know that bitch need a car no pay? How the fuck I know she need a car no pay and she don't have you? Nigga, my medical records say I'm homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation. Cause I ain't did nothing to him. Mm -hmm. 
And he did just that. I really stopped fucking with Charlie because a lot of shit that he was standing for, I didn't, I didn't approve of. Like, you're helping me with my cause. You're putting me on a platform to where I'm a mother who lost her son through gun violence and was a rapper. So how could you go on another rapper, mom, regardless of where she from? You heard about King Bob, Fuck mom, that mom. bitch. Look, I don't give a fuck about his mama. Y'all love his mama. I don't and expect for me to fuck with you like that. I'm a mother. I'm speaking from a mother's point of view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She feeling the same pain now? My mama ain't got a bunch of kids that die. Bitch, all you hoes buried your baby. Fuck y'all pain, bitch. Yeah. But I don't have to publicly check him. I called him when he did what he did to y'all and his daughter. I called him when him and Bodil got into it. I called him. You can't keep coming at my people, Mr. White. Came about money, homie. Oh, Shina, yeah, yeah, man. So that's why I wasn't calling him. You see what I'm saying? So I'm waiting on the murder change me to jump off. Because that's what we went to Dallas for. And I met with the mamas. When I went to Dallas, I, when Dominique did her interviews, I didn't get paid for none of that. I just got booked for her support. That was her time to get her money off her interviews and to talk to the people that wanted to talk to her. So I just basically went the first time for support. The second time with her, I mean. But the first time I went, Doug fiance, my baby mama, and Bree. We was four deep. They booked my flight and hotel room. They brought their own flights. Cause I didn't want to go up there by myself. You know what I'm saying? So Charleston night, Charleston White, he alright with me, man. I ain't got nothing bad to say about this man. I'm not finna use your platform to say nothing bad about this man. The truth is the truth. Thank you. I don't know, Vaughn and Doug was like counting. I don't know that. What you don't know? I don't know that. I'm telling you. But I don't give a damn about it. I and help. I, listen, I help this mama. Why do I need to know about two dead ass niggas? I don't give a fuck about Duck or Bone. I'm actually used it to thank him for what he did help me with. I respect that. I knew nothing of Tuka and FBG Duck until now. And when I heard about they mamas, when I heard about those kids, mamas. And how they was being treated, nigga, I show love. Even though I don't know nothing about King Von Mama, y'all yeah. gonna show love to my mama. I didn't have that chance. But nigga. And I think um, with that part being said, the only thing that kind of like, I guess, bothers the Chicago community is like, if you go do that, you gotta do that for everybody. I ain't gotta do that. Y'all go do that's, it. That, that's the reason. So, but was Chicago. I mean, you don't even have it in your heart to do it. How you gonna dictate my heart? And I'm okay. saying, and I'm saying, homo, homie, from the knowledge I got, King Vaughn was a killer. My mama had two sons locked up for murder, and my mama let everybody know I'm not in agreement in what my son's done. I ain't but look. So this is what I'm saying. You can't make me. Right. Nobody's hang gonna say. Come on, homie. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. Nigga, not one of my homeboy mama, y'all would never have to help in Texas, nigga. Nigga, I'm tired of helping. So I can say fuck whoever mama, nigga. And I kill a bitch behind me saying fuck they mama. I done helped them bitches. And I ain't fuck now, bitch, and could have fucked the bitch. So y'all go help the bitch. Since y'all got so much to say. What the hell now more you rotten ass hoes? Give me back my goddamn money, ho! Or suck my dick, bitch! And should I keep a motherfucking gun, nigga? <laughs> nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun, Chicago! Say, homie, you better, nigga, what you got going on? Man, you better sit down, homie. I'm okay. What you mean, what I'm on? Talk. Nigga, don't fuck Talk. with me with a gun in my hand, nigga. Too loud, man. Yeah, you Y'all went too far. Y'all went too far, man. Y'all was doing good. Put that shit down. Say, hey, nigga, better not fuck with me, no. Don't let me hear my nigga. You run all up on me with my jokes. Nigga, you a bad nigga, better not say nothing to me when I grab my pistol, nigga. Tell me what I can't say. Nigga, fuck out, nigga. Don't be telling me what I can't say.
Let me buy what I can't speak on with you. Let me tell you nothing, bro. Say, I'm not going to get down about nothing. He vibing with you, bro. He ain't vibing with me. He got one. I'm like, shit. Don't do that, don't do that, bro. 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 Don't do So it was never about making any money. It Up, can't run it. You rich and famous. You famous and you rich. Rich and famous and you famous and you. Oh, ain't nothing like it. I'm telling you, boys and girls, ain't nothing like. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like waking up and seeing your name in the headlights. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it, man. And I just wanna say, I pre.